Okay, family, this is Essie. Okay, you guys, first let me start by saying thank you to all my new subbies. Thank you so much for joining my channel. I hope you guys are enjoying my content. I can be a little wily sometimes. I stay busy, so you guys, I really appreciate that. I really, really appreciate that. So, what I'm going to do today, and look what I got out today, you guys, because those bugs, stink bugs, bikini bugs, squash bugs, I don't care what they are, they are out and I did a little mixture with some um, uh, insecticide, which really stinks. I went and sprayed my trees because the um, June bugs, the beetles, Japanese beetles, whatever they are, they are having a ball on my citrus tree. So I went and sprayed them, and I also bought it inside because y'all know when I come in here, I get crazy with pruning. But well, let me show y'all again why you got to get out here and be pruning your squash and your zucchini y'all see that that's them eggs y'all y'all know i spot them real quick see that get them off get them suckers off and um let me get my bucket first so what i'm gonna do you guys is i'm gonna start over here with my zucchini my green zucchini y'all it went crazy. Y'all ready to see this zucchini? I wonder if I could turn this and let it pop. Yep, it's doing something. There you go. you guys so that is one and I see them little bugs so okay that's one you guys and there's another big giant one down here and then there's another one I hope you guys can hear me there's another one right here so let me get the other big one because he's underneath he's in a tight he's in a real tight spot y'all Look at this. Yay! Super big. But you don't want your zucchini to get that big. It's just that sometimes they just have this crazy growth spurt. And. Because again, these things will go crazy. So, the ones that don't have any fruit on it, I'm getting rid of. Okay, you guys. So, over here with the um, squash, the cooked neck, and the prolific, we got a lot of clusters. And I'm gonna get I'm gonna get these clusters off because I definitely and again I see them bugs so I'm definitely gonna spray some insect, uh, insecticide over here because they in there. So I had to get him. Right, and there's some over here that I need to get another cluster. Y'all see these bugs down here? Y'all see why I'm out here with this insecticide today? And I 
I mean, it's a lot of them in here, y'all. It's a whole lot. So, I hate to use this stuff, but I'm going to have to, or they're going to be attacking me. Turn you guys around. A little something. So, yeah, they having fun in here, but I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get they behind. There we go, you guys. Sorry, I'm rushing. I just want to get away from these bugs. Let's see. Yeah, y'all. They over here having a good time up in here. And they are definitely not liking this stuff because as soon as I started spraying, they started running. So I'm going to prune back again so that I can see when I come out here. So I actually didn't prune him too well, but it is what it is. They having fun in here, y'all. It's a lot of them, so I got to keep this pruned back. And I think I got a few more on that side, so let me work my way around, y'all. Yep, there's some over there. Okay, you guys, we got some more zucchini. Get out of here. All right. So, the rest of them can stay on a little bit longer. We still got a lot of babies in here. still seem to be healthy I hate that I have to spray this stuff but you gotta spray and I could tell they don't like this stuff they going crazy because they can smell it and they really ain't liking this they running wild y'all okay Get my towel. So again, every time you harvest your zucchini, your squash, you want to come in and you want to prune that bad boy back 
because there's no getting around. Sorry about that, you guys. Let me turn y'all this way. So, every time you prune, every time you come in here to harvest your, or go in wherever you go in the harvest your, you can't eat, you want to prune because those bugs are constantly laying eggs on the leaf. So you want to get rid of them. You want to be able to see. You want them to be able to have the air circulation, the sun, everything. Like even in here. See, probably tomorrow I'll be out here harvesting some more zucchini because it's coming in. And then on this side, in the back of this area, is the uh, prolific squash again. So it's going to, it will overgrow if you don't prune it back. It's as simple as that. And then you'll mess around and can't even go into your garden because this whole thing or wherever you garden that is has overgrown. So get in the habit of every time you come out, harvest your zucchini, your squash, prune them leaves back so you can see. And see we have, shoot, we have about four more over there. Yep. So by tomorrow, Thursday, I'll be back out here harvesting again. So, that is another squash and zucchini harvest. Let me see if I can get that other one. Cause this one looks like a baseball bat. Look at this. He is huge. Y'all see that? I'm glad I hurry up and got it cause it looked like some insects was trying to get them. Looked like they was, they was gnawing. Yep. That's that big old one. It's gonna be some zucchini bread. I try. I do my best to bring you guys a video of zucchini doing some zucchini bread because zucchini bread is delicious, y'all. It's delicious. Very nice recipe. Very delicious bread, and it's a sweet bread as well. So. That is my harvest for today, you guys. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Again, thank you to all my new subscribers. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. And I hope you guys enjoy my content. This is Essie the Homesteader. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Thumbs up, like, subscribe, and hit that notification button. Peace.